<laughs> How's it going, bros? It's me, Pierre the Pat. No, I'm fucking with you guys. It's me, the Grand Quisador. Um, yeah, I feel like I have a wide range of assortments of copy and other YouTubers. I really do hope I don't get copyrighted for this. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so, um, I'm here with another video game pickups for, these are gonna, from GameStop, these are all gonna be 360 games, so, yeah, let's get into it. First game we got here is not really a popular game. It's not really, uh, a very highly rated game. It's not very fun, to be honest. But it's just a game that I, uh, I saw my, uh, one of my favorite YouTubers, uh, Dashy Games play, and it brought back memories of when I had it. It's not very fun, it's just to, like, mess around, but that's Sneaking. Um, Sneaking is, a uh, an advertisement game for, uh, Burger King, and it was basically just to advertise them. It was one of three games. There was Sneaking, I think Pocket Bike Racer, and Big Bumping. And these were all three games made for advertisement for Burger King. So yeah. Um, next game we got here is a game that I bought the same day as this one. It's not um, a game that I've heard very good things about, but I actually saw I think the Rad Brad play like one walk like one part of a walkthrough to it and then he stopped. But I thought it looked okay. I know it's probably not gonna be the best game, but that's Star Trek. Um this game is not very good from what I've heard. It's got really bad ratings, but I decided just to play it. Uh, you know, every time I buy a game, it's all, it's off of something that I actually know. But this game, I'm just taking um, a gamble on it to see if I like it. Because sometimes I play games that people don't rate very well, and I actually like them. So hopefully this game is good, but I doubt it. Next game we got here is Viking Battle for Asgard. Um, this game you guys know I have for the PS3. I've never played it, um, I actually never played it at all, I have it for the PS3, but I didn't play it on that. And this game is actually made by a company that I actually like a lot, and that's Creative Assembly. They, um, they make the, the Total War games. My favorite Total War game is probably Empire, but I have a good, I have a good bit of almost all of them. So yeah, those games are really cool. Next game we got here is a game that I've actually wanted for quite a while, it's actually pretty hard to find. This is my first time finding it in, like, years of wanting it. And I didn't want to order it from, like, um, Amazon or eBay or anything, because it always goes for more, so. This is Darkest of Days. It was only, like, four bucks at GameStop. And it's complete and everything, so I'm glad I got that, because for, on Amazon, this was, like, 20, 30 bucks just for this used. So I'm glad I got that. Uh, next game we got here. I think this game is in pretty, eh, condition the case. And it's not a very good game. I don't imagine me playing a lot of it. I just bought it to get probably like a good lap out of it. And that's Crit Jason or something, whatever. Jumper Griffin story. It's uh, based off a movie. It's actually really bad reviews-wise. I think it was actually a three, uh, Xbox One game. You can see the game is not even in that bad condition because nobody probably played it like that. But yeah. It's not a... Uh, it was, I think, a Xbox original port to the 360. And I don't, I don't think it was even really that good. And last game we got here, I do have on the Xbox One, but I decided to get it on the 360 just because I wanted to uh, add to the collection, and that's Titanfall. Titanfall, you, all, you guys all know what Titanfall is. It's a very pretty promising game when it first released, but I don't know if anybody else felt the same way, but you played it in the beginning. It was really fun. It was like, like amazing, and then you just got tired of it very quickly. It's like you didn't really come back to it, but it's, it's not a bad game, so... Those are my pickups. Um, I'll give you the rundown of the prices. These two together were like 11 This one was like $9. These all here were like 20 something So I bought these on separate days. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for always tuning in. Uh, I love you guys. And the Conquistador out. Thanks, guys.